Action! Circle, circle, keep circling, keep circling, and attack! Today we're gonna to talk about the soccer kick. This is an idea my stunt coordinator from Action Factory, Tim Garris, came up with. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what the process is of accomplishing a stunt like this. It's something that takes a lot of coordination because we're only doing it one time as we're combining two Sony A7S2s, a DJI Osmo, and a DJI Phantom 3 Professional. This was an idea that um, we hadn't conceptualized before. Um, and I said, okay, we want to do something big, something grand here, and we have this wide span of space, what can we do? And you know, and this is, this is a time where you leave it to your team to come up with ideas because they know what's possible. They know what the limits are and they can push those. So he's literally though, uh, a couple nights before, uh, discussing what's possible with chopsticks. And, he sh and, and so we're discussing and showing it to uh, my two cinematographers, uh, Marvin Tam, uh, and then our second unit, Ben Pertucci. This string, and this is my pole. So this is the string. And he, get, he gets hit and dragged along that. And we're, we'll start here and be out this way. So we're, we're, then we're on location. So we're not just jumping into the shot. So we're discussing what we're going to do so that we're all prepared. And I'm walking through it with Tim very carefully you know, where the characters are gonna be, placing myself in that position to, to have the same type of feeling. So for acting, right? So, yep. nothing is stronger than us. Boom, right? Tracking with Osmo. What are you guys doing? Uh, we are dragging guys through the dirt strong and kick our hero 30 feet. Okay, we gotta move, we got some rain coming. This could be a lot of fun for me, not so much for the guy who's getting kicked. It's, it's the desert, so it isn't, isn't a set where everything is prepared for you. So they're clearing debris, they're making sure that the path is going to be clear. I suggested to Tim that instead of, because we, we can't drag somebody a zillion times to make sure the shot's going to be okay, that we, simu we do a simulation. Tim is going to run and sprint across as if he were being dragged across the screen so that Marvin can get his timing on the drone. And, and go. Everyone essentially gets time to practice to know exactly what's going on. So even though if you're not taking the shot and not doing the shot, everyone's on the understanding of what's gonna happen and when and how to coordinate that. What we're definitely focused on is the drone and making sure that that's positioned well so that it can cover the shot. The timing of this is amazing. Camera's rolling! Rolling. 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 And action! Tim is in his truck, and after I call action, the actor knows what to do, and then Tim is slowly backing up. He's slowly creating tension on the rope. And then eventually, when he sees that the stunt double is gonna make contact with Anthony, my stunt double, he pulls the trigger, and the, and the truck backs up as quickly as possible and drags Anthony across the desert. This has one? a nice trail. That's sick. Uh, <laughs> amazing time because any earlier, any sooner, it's not going to look right. The guy's going to be too far away and we're going to have to cut in different ways. So, um, you know, uh, I mean, that, that in and of itself, I think, is a skill. Not only being able to have the vision of what the idea, of the idea and making sure that it's going to work, and understanding the physics of everything, but also the physical execution of the stunt is critical 
in movies to make things look good. Obviously, if you have a big budget, you can try many different angles um, and you can try many different um, things on different days and you have, um, you know, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be better because sometimes when you have a smaller number of people, in our case, we had a very small number of people, you, you're looking at Tim, I mean, he's um, doing many tasks from, you know, preparing the set to, you know, working on the stunt and um, so but what what the advantages of having less people is, is less coordination you have less people um, worried about the timing so literally the timing is the two actors myself calling it and then Tim having his eye on when that when he's supposed to to move the truck and and sometimes those uh, having one less brain to register uh, the timing can be critical and you get it that much closer. So Tim, what are you guys doing? <laughs> I saw this really cool YouTube video and I thought I'd try it out today. I've never done this before, so 